All right, guys. Welcome back to Dante Must Die Walkthrough. This is Mission Seven Part Two, and uh, I am playing from last where I left off on Part One. Um, now this fight, um, it will contain of three rages, I believe, and a witch. I think that's what they're called. A witch with the shield things. Um, I'm gonna play a little bit reckless. Uh, I go double trigger to restore some of my health just to try and play a bit safe. Um, I do play a little bit of reckless here. I get put down to about two bars of health, I think. So then I start playing a bit safe, you know, jumping around, you know, time around moves a little bit. But yeah, I'll get, I'll catch you guys in the next fight. Alright guys, so um, this fight it consists of a Rage and two Harpies, I believe they're called. Um, I can't remember much about this fight. I, th I think, I think I'm trying to, I'm trying to revenant them down. But I think I actually cowed out. I do, I do run away um, like a little baby. But I think, I think I do take on the Harpy a little bit. I shoot it and then ring it towards me. But um, aside from that, I think I actually leave the rage behind and just and just move on. Um, wait, you can see me. You can see me looking down at the rage now. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just thinking, you know what? Screw it. This is a walkthrough. You know, I don't have to fight them. So I'm gonna do. I'm I'm gonna be a coward and run. And uh, you're gonna see me failing like a boss. Yeah, that's right. Fail. <laughs> Go down. And I think. Yeah, and then down to the next four, on to the next fight. Alright guys, so I had a little technical error, as always, with me, which is not my look. But, um, this fight consists of two rages and a witch. Um, this stage seven does consist of a lot of rages. Um, it's not the worst combination. Um, I think, I don't know what, what the worst combination probably could be. But this, it, it's not too bad, it's just, um, Get your little. I always forget the name of the weapon, the star thing. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. I keep forgetting. But uh, yeah, you want to just keep 
Uh, once the witch has a shield on her, just keep shooting the disc things at her. I, I always try and get her out of the way first because of her projectile um, annoying little red arrow things. I don't know, I think, I think they're floating red swords or something. But yeah, I try and get rid of them first. While trying to keep 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 the rangers under the control, so if you just keep shooting them discs things um, at them, it contains them pretty well. Yeah, it's pretty cheap, but you know if you want to get through this walkthrough, that is one of my tips. Alright guys, so with this bit, it's pretty much near the end, you walk across the bridge, the bridge breaks, and you see the old man who's um, lost his eye. Um, so yeah, we're coming towards the end. Um, I think the end battle does have, uh, I think it's some three harpies and one of them teleporting ninja guys. Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm going to call him from now on, teleporting ninja guy. But yeah, um, this fight, um, it does drag on a little bit with the ninja guy, but um, to get rid of the harpies, uh, the, the shotgun blast does actually knock them quite far away. So yeah, if you just do that, look, shoot, and then shoot again, uh, and she will eventually just fall. So that's an easy way to get rid of the harpies. Um, I definitely recommend using the revenant because it's just stronger and it kicks them back. So that's good. Uh, get rid of these two little guys. Not honestly, these guys aren't much of a problem. And I do believe we versus the ninja guy he pops up somewhere around here after I take out this dude. Just going devil trigger. Okay. So as always, I'm like, okay, let's get rid of this harpy because I just. You know, I just don't want things getting in my way while I, whilst I'm trying to focus on something that does a lot more damage than a happy. So we all know the combos. Uh, sorry, combos. We, we all know how to take out this guy. It's pretty simple. Wait for him to teleport. And then uh, you pull out your ninja star things. And you can hit him. Or you can shoot your pistols and then demon pull him. Um... Or just shoot your pistols with it if you're really close to him and slash him. Any of them will work. And I think if you're hitting with your judgment axe while he's doing a move, it like stuns him back or something like that. And also the other way is just to dodge his move and then just attack him like that. Dodge, hit, and then if he if he both clash swords again, you just or demon pull him while he's doing an attack like that. It's 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 not that hard. It just takes time and it's just a bit tedious. But it's just a bit of you know. But like that, just hit, evade, hit, evade. It's it's honestly not that much of a challenge. So I think he's about to die. He takes forever if you kick him off the stage. By the way, he doesn't appear, and then he just like somewhat in your face. <laughs> but yeah, this guy's definitely coming to an end. I think it's about here, maybe. No, no, is it here? It's somewhere around here. <laughs> it's somewhere around here. He's he's really close to dying. But um. Yeah, thanks for watching this walkthrough guys, um, this is the end of mission 7, part 2, and that's it, thanks for watching, I will see you guys on mission 8, which is quite a short one, I think it is, I'm pretty sure it is, so yeah guys, I will see you guys on mission 8, take care.